Did you ever have one of those moments, phone calls, meetings with George Steinbrenner in your career where you went, oh, boy? Um, I know he was upset with me once um, <laughs> because I, I said that the Yankees had reneged on a contract to Daryl Strawberry. And he was in the car riding to the airport to leave New York. And he was listening to John and myself on the radio and heard that. And let's just put it this way, Dan. He made the driver turn around on the George Washington <laughs> Bridge to go back to the stadium. So we had a little bit of a discussion after that game. But usually it was it was it was pretty cool because you know we don't have to be homers with the Yankees. We just say the truth because that's how George Steinbrenner was. If the team wasn't playing poorly, he said it. So he allowed us to say it on the air as well, and it was kind of refreshing. For somebody who didn't meet or didn't know George Steinbrenner, how would you sum him up? Intense. When he was in the building, you knew he was in the building. Even if you didn't know he was there, if you hadn't seen him, everybody was buttoned up. And I think that you still see the residual of that with Brian Cashman, who once told me, I overstudy everything simply because of the fact I don't want him to ask me a question that I don't know the answer to. So he was driven. Uh, he had a really soft side as well, but he was very, very difficult to work for because if you didn't do your job, he didn't want you there any longer. That's, that's the best way I could describe him. 